truth is, majority of women disconnect from their own bodies to connect to his. You are lying to yourself about hookup culture. Casually hooking up and getting into situationships that don't go anywhere is unfortunately so toxic to you as a woman. But society has made you believe it's okay. The Extreme femininity has made women believe that. That's the truth. Because extreme feminists want to be like men so bad, they think they're better than men also. But they want to believe that they're men so bad that they go out there and they try to emulate what men do and they think it's beneficial. And all it does is cause them harm. You can't give out your body like it means nothing and then expect it to mean something to one man. It, it, it just doesn't make sense at all. It doesn't really matter. This is why it matters. Number one, giving up your body adds to another layer of pain that's inevitably going to come when this man does not commit to you. Exactly, because men control access to commitment. Women control access to sex. A man can have sex with you. That doesn't mean he's going to commit to you. Just because you got the baseball player, the football player, the basketball player, whoever it is, or the R&B singer, rapper, whatever it is hitting you up to want to have sex with you, that doesn't mean that he is going to commit to you. You're just another number. That's it. Number two, you're giving yourself up to a man who has his own history, who might operate it from his own wounded places, who might create more insecurities for you, who probably has his own erotic thoughts and desires, that might not even align to yours. Number three. Oh Lord, I mean, they don't care about alignment. They just care about in the moment. And that's why I always say, women are only loyal to their feelings in the moment. They're not loyal to a man. They're not loyal to uh, children in that way, even though that's a little bit different. But even then, they're still loyal to how they feel in the moment. They're not loyal to things or people, or anything. They're loyal to their feelings and whatever feelings they have in that moment. A woman could love you today and hate your ass tomorrow because it's just how she feels in the moment. You're disconnecting to your body. Hookup culture makes you believe that you're gonna get more experience. That's really not true. Every time you get into a new relationship, it's a new body to learn anyways. And what you should be learning is your own body, what feels good to you. Because the truth is, majority of women disconnect from their own bodies to connect to his. You are. You know what's crazy? I don't think a lot of women understand that every single man that you have sex with, every single man that has ejaculated in you or whatever, you carry that DNA, a portion of that DNA, the rest of your life. And women don't understand that. They don't get that. They probably think that, oh, shit, Rafe, you, you don't know what you're talking about. It's true. So if that is the truth, then why would you just let every single Tom, Dick, and Harry go inside you, penetrate you, put that in you, and then you say, it means nothing. Because you're so focused on trying to be so independent and trying to be men. But if you keep trying to do that, you're just the one losing. Men are not losing. That's not an L for a man to have sex with you. Do you understand that? It's not an L for a man to have sex with you. It's an L for you to have meaningless sex with multiple men because you're trying to be a man. You're never going to be a man. Just like I'm never going to be a woman. I'm never going to know what it is to be a woman. I'm never going to know what it is to have a child, to be pregnant, to have all these emotional things going on. I'm never going to understand that. I can respect that, but I can never understand that because I can never be a woman. No matter how many men you sleep with, no matter how much money you got in the bank, no matter how many trips you take with your girls, no matter how many escapades you involve yourself in, you're never going to be a man, ever. It's never going to happen.
And the sooner you realize that and stop playing these games and stop being loose out in them streets and giving yourself self up to every single Tom, Dick, and Harry that pays you attention, until you do that, you're going to keep taking L's. You're going to be lonely. And guess what? That youth, that fertility, that purity, Lessons over time. Your window is about this small. A man's window is off the charts. You don't have the time that we have. So you need to decide how much time are you going to waste with the Toms, Dicks, and Harrys. How many escapades you're going to have? How long are you going to believe this lie that hookup culture is beneficial to women when all it does is break women? Look at the divorce rate. Look how many people are not having children. Look how many men in general, one in four men are, haven't had sex. So is it really working? Trying to be a man? Trying to be so sexually free? It wasn't enough that you could have birth control and all these things to mitigate some issues that you might get in, getting pregnant, not wanting to be pregnant. It wasn't enough for that. But now you got to be out there and just give yourself away to every man that pays you any kind of attention. And a lot of women don't even care if the guy actually likes her or not. It's just like, oh, he's hot, he's sexy, he's a Chad, every, all the other girls want him, I'm just going to sleep with him. But like I always say, when you look in the mirror at night, when you land in that bed by yourself, you know what the truth is. Women control access to sex. Men control access to relationships. Hookup culture was started by... It's perpetuated by and it's continued by women, not men.